So you're not happy with your current salary at work. You don't feel it reflects the amount of effort you put in at your job. You've heard other people in the office make more money than you do and you want to fix that and negotiate a higher salary for yourself. Let's delve into exactly how you can negotiate a pay rise. First things first, you need to request a meeting. Yes, this takes courage to make that phone call or to send that email, but remember you won't get a pay rise if you don't take this step. So what do you say in the email you send or the phone call you make? Well, you need to be honest. Don't hide your intentions. Don't surprise your boss with a request for a pay rise. This certainly will not help you win points with them. Say something like, I'd like to meet you in the next one to two weeks to discuss my current salary. I've been researching the market rates and I feel that my current salary doesn't match the market. Could you let me know a suitable time so we can discuss this in more detail? If you're worried about your boss ghosting you, then prompt them by email, by phone and in person. And don't forget to utilize your performance reviews to bring up any potential pay rises that you want. Before we get to the second tip, if you like what you've learned so far in this video and you want more advice to advance your career into leadership, then subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell too. Let's move on to the second tip. So you've told your boss already that you've done market research around salaries. So now you actually need to do your market research. You need to be on top of salary ranges for people like you based on your role, your skill set, your level of experience, level of education and location as well. All of these things will impact the salary range that you can ask for. Use websites like Glassdoor, Payscale or 81 cents to get market data for average salaries for your position. You can also ask your friends or colleagues who are in the same or similar industries. What would you expect someone to be paid in a position like X with the necessary skills like Y? It's really important that when you're in the conversation asking for a pay rise that you don't give a specific number. Instead, you need to give a range that you find acceptable. But remember, this is a negotiation. So you need to start with a higher range than what you would find acceptable because your boss is very likely to negotiate you down. So you want to arrive at a point at the end of the negotiation that is acceptable for you. For example, if you're currently being paid $50,000 a year, but you want a salary of $60,000 a year, then you need to start with a range between $60,000 to $65,000 a year. This is the range that you believe is a fair salary based on your level of experience, skill, and value you contribute. And a salary range rather than a specific number will also show your boss that you're flexible, that you are willing to negotiate, which will definitely win points for you. Now we're getting to the most important part and this is where you justify why you deserve a pay rise. You need to be confident about this. Don't be afraid to articulate your worth. Here are some things you can talk about. How you've improved your skill set, the great work you've accomplished, praise you've received from co-workers, small wins and big wins, how you've helped your co-workers, how you've helped your boss, the value you've added to your team or company. All of these things will add to your negotiation argument and will help you justify why you deserve a pay rise. You can list all of them if you can or choose the main ones that are relevant to you, but this should absolutely be the main part of your negotiation discussion. And really, really important, where you can, talk in terms of metrics. Increase in revenue, increase in productivity, KPIs that are important to your team. Also, bring in evidence, emails, performance reviews, feedback, received. This will all help to support your case in a way that your manager cannot negate. Another thing that will help you a lot in getting a pay rise is your level of confidence, in particular the way you communicate and whether you frame your request for a pay rise in a confident way or not. Don't say, I think I deserve a pay rise. This is not confident, this is not assertive, and it's very unlikely to help you get a pay rise. It's also too vague, so you need to say something that is very specific and very confident, something like this. Based on my experience, skills, and the value I've added to the team and company, I would expect a salary between $60,000 and $65,000 a year. And the most important thing is, do not underestimate your likability factor. If you have a good relationship with your boss, use this to your advantage. Leverage it to get them on board with giving you a pay rise. It's really easy to increase your likability at work. If you feel this is an area you need to work on, then in this video right here, I explain exactly how you can do that.